30. Hey everyone, today I have a pretty incredible video to share with you the most powerful production sedan in the world, the 1,111 horsepower Lucid Air Performance Dream Edition versus the current king of the hill, the 1,020 horsepower Tesla Plaid. First, I have to give a special thanks to Sanjay for letting me test out and race his brand new Lucid Air and to John from Hennessy Performance for letting us use his very own brand new Tesla Plaid and for providing the awesome venue to set up these races. Also to Jimmy for flying out with me and to Ted for EVS Motors for providing a loaner Mazda RX-7 for me to drive around Houston and he provided his STO for testing. More on that later. If you haven't seen it already, last week I posted the first real world test results of the Lucid Air where it ran a 10 flat at 143 miles an hour. Shortly after posting that, I received an email from Lucid with some hints on how to get the best performance from the Lucid Air. I won't go over it in too much detail, but I'll post it up right here. You can pause the video in case someone else has the opportunity to test or take one of these cars down the drag strip. I did reach out to Lucid a few times about the possibility of reviewing and testing a car. I was advised that I was on the list, but never heard back. I finally did hear back after our test and was advised that our focus has been getting a national press into the limited number of press cars that we have available and that the current focus is on luxury and efficiency aspects of the car. Of course, I'm a bit biased, but if there's an 1111 horsepower car that comes out, you guys want to see how efficient it is or how fast it is? Drop your comments below. So yes, we can all say it together. I'm just an owner of the YouTube channel, but either way, Lucid, I'm ready to take a fully prepared one down a prepped drag strip to get the best numbers. Let me know. So Jimmy and I headed out to Houston, Texas to do it ourselves. Both cars were fully charged the night before, and John Hennessy had the cars towed to his facility to keep the playing field even. It was pretty cold out there, and while the Plaid does have a drag strip prep mode to heat the batteries, and the Lucid does not, we did not wait for that to be ready to start the races. Unfortunately, winds were crazy over 40 miles an hour. Alright, all right, we're out here at Hennessy's racetrack. We got the, it is so crazy, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> and doing intros and outros outside was almost impossible, so I have to do it from here in my garage. Now onto the races. Lucid Air versus Tessa Plaid. If you stick around to the end, I will do a little recap. Launch control activated. Go. Oh, it hooks. It's good.
three, two, one, and go. 30, 60. Two, one, go. Okay, so you saw it. Plaid took three out of the four races, and on the race where the Lucid won, the Plaid did not use launch mode. But it's still pretty clear by the races and the data, the Plaid's quite a bit faster. Since it was so cold with no heat in the tires, neither car had amazing quarter mile times with the best of a 9.6 in the Plaid and a 10 flat in the Lucid. But you can also look at that 60 to 130 and 100 to 150 data and see they're about eight tenths apart. So given the 143 mile an hour trap speed for the Lucid, I'm thinking there's a solid 9.8 pass for that car. As always, thanks for watching. Next up, we have the Lucid Air taking on the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. And we even have all three racing at the same time. So consider subscribing and you'll get notified when it's released.